Welcome back to Physics News. I'm your host, Dick Fisher. And I'm dead inside. And let's get right into the news. Earlier today, a little boy almost drowned at the local community pool. Luckily, one bystander was there to save him. Live footage of the event as follows. Why is he dry? He, he's been there for like three hours. I, I think he might be dead. What? Wait a minute, I know CPR. Two hours later. Are you sure you did this right? There was a lot of water in those closed pipes. Look at those oscillations. Well, that was disturbing. I think I'm gonna vomit. And now to my father with the weather. Just kidding, he left years ago. Hi everybody, it's Hoff here with the weather. You see, we have nice, beautiful blue skies today. And that's because there's a nice lake about a couple miles north. And because of that lake, the light rays will reflect off no! of No! <laughs> everybody knows the sky's only blue because the light bounces around and the higher frequency light bounces around the most. And so that's why the blue light gets trapped up and we see the blue light, right? Oh! But sunsets are caused by magic, and that's proven because love creates sunsets. No! Sunsets only happen because the angle of the sun is greater through the atmosphere and more light bounces around. Obviously! And I thought we only had one weatherman, but whatever, I stopped caring enough to ask questions a long time ago. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems as though we have some sort of disruption in our video signal. We have our best guys trying to fix it, but uh, it seems as if... Hello, and welcome to the Church of Bejeebus. Come, join us and be enlightened. You will learn the truth about all the lies you've been told by society. Time, gravity, friction, it's all a lie. A lie! A lie. Come, learn the truth with the one, the only, we would like to remind you that the news station does not in any way endorse anything you just saw. And now, for more stories. What's that cat doing up there? Look at that cat! Where's he going? Kitty! What's he doing? Come back! I love you! What's that cat? You. What do you how to get up there? The earth loves you! Look at him! What's that cat? Huh? And now a word from our sponsors. Hey dude, wouldn't it be like totally rad if I don't know we got high? You mean Hody over nose? Yeah! Stop! Ranger Pete. Pete! Don't you know that if you Hody over dough, you're definitely gonna overdose! Remember kids, say no to you to Hody over Doty! Absolutely. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. And I told her that if she wants to leave, she can go ahead, but she better take the kids with her. Hey, we're on air! Oh, oh, welcome back to Physics News. Uh, now for a word from our sports section. After a disappointing finish at the Lork Ball Grand Tournament, Japanese prodigy T. Ork seeks a victory over his lifetime rival slash secret crush, Angularian heartthrob Theta Johnson. And here he comes now, and something new for him is apparently he's going to wear pants for this match. And we can see the players warming up as we speak. Theta Johnson in the background doing whatever it is he's doing. And in the foreground, we can see the way I used to prance before I was ensnared in the institution of marriage. And as you can see, Theta Johnson is in fact taking off his pants. Not really sure why he put them on in the first place in this case. That's some nice mask right there. And now, the opening serve. 
This set actually signifies the match point for Theta Johnson, and I must say, the energy of this match is simply kinetic. However, at this point, Theta Johnson fails to return the serve, becomes angry, lays on the ground, and violently Fs the air's M, causing it to A. And this record-breaking crowd is extremely loud. Their noise must be well past the threshold of pain. I mean, really, just look at those decibels. Yeah! And now we see T. Ork dancing like a maniac, using the latest dance craze to sweep Japan since the infamous Physics Bob. I have to say, I have no idea what he's doing. After a brief moment of celebration, T. Ork decides to serve up the ball, but Johnson isn't having it as he experiences an extreme change in Theta and begins rolling on the ground. I remember when I used to roll on the ground, but then I lost use of my legs. It seems as though Johnson had a plan all along, however, as he finishes the match with a running jump shot. T. Org's anger right now really reminding me of childhood memories of my father. And now, to Pete with a post-match interview. Yes! <gasps> I'm here now with the tennis star and heartthrob from Angular, Theta Johnson. Theta Johnson, how do you feel about your historic victory over T. York in the world's largest tennis competition? Uh, you know, I don't think any of us are surprised with that. You know, he's pretty bad. I'm pretty good. Uh, I did it for, like, all you ladies out there. Uh, you know where to find me. Yeah, whatever. I'll see you, dude. Get that. Whatever. Man. Jeez, he's confident. Hey. Hey, folks. I'm here with T. York after his infamous loss to Theta Jones. T. York, how are you feeling about that? I have dishonored my family for the last time. I will take revenge on his. Well, there you have it. Back to you at the news desk. Well, that was an interesting story. And to add insult to injury, we found out recently that T. Ork isn't actually Japanese. Wow, and speaking of disappointments, on to wrestling. Former wrestling champion Big Bertha was viciously dethroned by the now new champion Sig Fig. Let's go to Pete with the interview. I'm here now with our wrestling champion Sig Fig. Sig Fig, how do you feel about your victory? Sig Fig. All right. Well, I guess it's official. Sig Fig is the dumbest thing any of these athletes are going to lose points to this semester. Thank you, Sig Fig. Back to you at the news desk. This just in from our action news team, reporter Pete Crescimano has fallen off a cliff once again. Wow, I guess the Earth must have really loved him. If only my father really loved me. And now it's time for this show to do what my first marriage did in the 90s and come to an end. Once again, I am Dick Fisher. And I'm tired of this show. Have a good night. <laughs>